In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a gradient timeline infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you the first option 1995. You can add some detailed text along with the icon. Then comes the second option, the third, fourth, and fifth. And then I've created one curved line, something like this. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background then go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the rectangles I'm going to choose the rectangle rounded corner draw a rectangle and then you can see the small orange point just drag this inside so it becomes fully curved again if you want to increase the size you can increase or decrease depending on the requirement and make sure to align center align middle and shape outline make it no outline i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and give a different color here all right and then i'm going to hold the shift key or just make make sure to align center align middle and then I'm going to reduce the size. Okay, I can reduce the size. You can see here from top. Okay, or you can just hold the shift key and you can reduce the size as well. All right, so this much one I'm going to keep it. So again, make sure that this is properly aligned center, aligned middle. The next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to keep only this blue border, the rest of that options. I'm going to delete the object. I'm going to delete. Okay, first select the blue. A rectangle hold the shift key select this orange one go to the more shape and subtract so you can see here we end up getting only the border here all right the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this into three parts for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle and i'm going to give a let me just increase the size the transparency of say 50 percent so we know exactly from where we are cutting and shape outline no outline so i'm going do not keep it here like this okay always keep it where the lines are straight when the lines are in the curve do not use i mean do not place the object there okay so i'm going to put it here hold the control shift key bring it down so it looks something like this the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to select this object hold the shift key select this rectangle and select the bottom rectangle once this is done go to the shape format merge shapes and select fragment then i'm going to delete this one delete this one delete delete and delete now what happens here is we have got this part we have got this part this part and this part all right so now with the help of these parts i'm going to uh, add more options okay so i'm going to select this one let me just move it towards the left so the first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to select this one and put it on top of like this here. Can you see here and make sure that when you zoom it should sometimes what happens it will be like this. Okay. So when we are doing a grouping it will have a problem for us. So make sure it is properly aligned. And then I'm going to select this shape hold the control shift key and put it here exactly. Again make sure that this is properly aligned every time we need to just zoom a little bit and just check that one. Then I'm going to select this one, hold the control shift key and put it here. So I'm just going to do the repeat the same options. So depending on my requirement, maybe I need a four or five cups. So based on that one, sorry. So let me just select this one, hold the control shift key and put it this one here. You can see here. Now I'm going to select this again, hold the control shift key. And here also I'm going to do the same thing and you can see here let me just zoom out a little bit and I'm going to put it like this here and again zoom a little bit and so you can see here I have not placed it correctly now it's okay and then I'm going to add one more at the last so only this much I'm going to keep all right and again zoom a little bit and check whether this is okay or not it looks okay for me all right so now i'm going to select all these objects all right go to the shape format merge shapes 
and make it a union and reduce the size you can see here I can just reduce the size something like this and then go to the insert shapes I'm going to add one rectangle a triangle sorry and I'm going to place it on the top of this shape outline make it no outline press ctrl D to duplicate bring it here all right so it looks something like this so now again I'm going to select all the objects go to the shape format merge shapes and make it a union and then I'm going to select a gradient fill so gradient fill basically I'm going to choose two colors you can see here one is purple and another is blue at any other color of your choice also you can select that one so you can see here our curve a kind of a road line a roadmap is ready now we have to put the options so let me just put a fit to slide okay and then I'm going to reduce this size then go to the insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle again draw a rounded corner rectangle and make sure it is fully rounded all right and keep it here shape fill i'm going to fill this with white and shape outline i'm going to select a gradient outline so here i can just select a gradient outline and i can choose the same outlines here so let me just delete two, two stops the first stop i'm going to choose the color purple and the other one which is blue you can see here and increase the width of this so you can see here I can make it maybe eight or nine all right I think six uh, eight looks uh, perfectly all right for me all right so then go to insert text box I'm going to say 1995 again i'm going to use a kind of a purple font and the font i'm going to use is open sans extra bold and i'm going to place it here all right you can see here and then go to insert text box you can add detail text here this one i'm going to choose maybe a blue font center align and put it here so now I'm going to select all these three options two text and this uh, rectangle rounded corner rectangle and press ctrl G okay now hold the ctrl shift key I'm going to add one here press ctrl D I'm going to add one here you can see here actually it should come here all right and then I'm going to add one more here so depending on the requirement actually i have to suppose to uh, add one more but okay this is also fine so now this is 1995 i'll just say this is 2000 this is uh, 2020 and this is 2025 all right so you can just uh, do the uh, add the options like this and then if you want to do some basic animations you can go and open the animation and click on the animation pane and here I'm going to select these options by holding the shift key add animation more entrance effect select basic zoom click OK and this should happen on click and for this I'm going to add wipe animation wipe animation should start from left all right so now if I play or this should, this one actually should be after previous so now if I play first option comes second third and fourth and then this comes okay so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease this curved lines here